welcome to the new episode of Ask an American. Uh, I'm Peter and I'm new here and I'm here with Chuck. You already know him from previous ev- episodes. And today's topic is gonna be what do Americans do when they retire? Uh, Chuck, first, yes. que- first question is how do Americans typically plan for retirement? It's an excellent question, Pure. Um, in the past 50 years ago, Uh, companies normally had a pension program and so you worked for the same company and at the end they would give you a pension and that you would draw that pension and draw means to collect Mm -hmm. uh, draw that pension from uh, that company so if you worked for Ford Motor Company then Ford Motor Company would pay you a pension yeah Um, but uh, most companies now today do not have pensions they've moved to an individual retirement system. Mm -hmm. And so what you do is um, you actually save money all the time when you're working. Mm -hmm. And I actually started my individual retirement accounts when I, the the day I graduated from college. Mm -hmm. I started putting money into an individual retirement account, which is called an IRA. And so that's where you get your money and it compounds and grows and grows and grows. And then you also get some money from the federal government Mm -hmm. through Social Security. And so as you plan your retirement, you need to pay, you need to um, make payments to your individual retirement account Mm -hmm. and you need to work. So um, most companies will pay money into your individual retirement account Mm -hmm. as you pay. Sometimes they'll pay in um, maybe 5% of your salary every year. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they might match money that you put in. So if I put in $1, they put in $1. Mm -hmm. And and each company can do it differently. Some Mm -hmm. companies will put in 50 cents for every dollar you put in. Okay. And they'll maybe have a cap on it. Um, The the, um, cap for the federal government a few years ago was about $26,000 a year. That was Mm -hmm. all you could put in. Okay. Very few people have $26,000 <laughs> yeah. to put into their retirements. Um, but the important part is you need to start early. You need to start when you're 20, in your 30s. You can't start say, saving for your retirement when you're 55 or 50 years old or even 40. You've got to start early. Okay. So the system of it is very different than it is in Poland, right? Yes. Um, we have the... The social security that, go, that you will get from the government, mm-hmm. but usually it's not enough money to live on. I recently saw that the average social security payment monthly to an individual is one thousand nine hundred dollars. Okay, and that's not enough to for two people to live on or for one person to live on, basically. Okay, so you have to have your some extra money that you saved yourself. Okay, so let's move to the next question. Uh, what are the most popular activities that retirees engage in? Well, not being retired, I don't know, but typically people talk about playing golf. Okay. Some people play golf once a week or even two or three times a week. That is an expensive hobby mm-hmm. because it usually costs 40 to $100 each time you play golf. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the, it's called uh, the greens fee, the fee to play the golf. Okay. Um, people will fish. Obviously, fishing is cheap. All you have to do is buy a license and the equipment. And once yeah. you bought it, you can fish, and it's very cheap. So a lot of people will fish. Uh, some people will travel. Uh, my mom and dad, after they retired, they actually um, traveled in two forms. When they right after they retired, they bought an airline ticket from KLM that allowed them to travel all the way around the world mm-hmm. in one year. <laughs> and the only requirement was that they had to stop in Amsterdam, and they could stop in 12 different cities as they went around the world. But they had to go in one direction. You either had to go east the whole time or west the whole time. Okay. And they had a great time. But they found out that a year was a little too long. Oh, yeah. My dad said maybe eight months was about what you need to be gone. Okay. So next question is, do Americans prefer to 
stay in their hometowns or move to the warmer states or even colder or maybe go abroad, go to the different country? Uh, Excellent is, question. Yeah. Um, very rarely do people move from a nice place to a cold place. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times people move from, like if they lived in Michigan or New York or someplace like that, in the northern part of the United States, they'll move to the south, to Florida or to Arizona, Texas, someplace like that. It's cheaper um, and the weather's nicer. Um, and so they'll do that. Their money goes farther and they don't have to shovel snow. They don't have to worry yeah. about falling in the snow. And so that's very popular. <coughs> A few people actually move abroad mm -hmm. and they'll move to usually Latin American countries that are not too far from America, yeah. where they can live much cheaper and have a, um, a more luxurious lifestyle. Okay. So when Americans retire, do they stay active or they tend to relax more? How is it? Um, it would be nice if people stayed active. I think each individual is different. Um, obviously, uh, some people, I have a friend and he told me his dad retired and he's watches TV all day and get, getting fat Yeah, and he'll probably die in the next few years because that's what he wants to do. Obviously that's not his plan to watch TV, yeah. get fat and die, but that's on the road that he's, he's yeah. chosen. Other people very active. They do volunteer work. They um, play golf or fish. Yeah. They um, have hobbies and so forth. So, you know, mm -hmm. millions of people retire and you've got millions of different paths yeah, of that course. you can choose. Yeah, so next question is, how do retirees manage their finances? Do they uh, tend to start a part-time job, maybe start a new business, or maybe just, I don't know, uh, how is it in States? Um, some people, really struggle mm -hmm. as they retire to have enough money and they struggle to have enough money to, to live and to eat. Um, and that's unfortunate. Uh, but uh, most people, and those people a lot of times will have to go get a part-time job. Mm -hmm. So they can get a part-time job in a store or someplace like that and work 10 or 20 hours a week. Some people like to work I remember meeting a man who was 80 years old and he was still driving a truck because he <laughs> liked to drive a truck. If that's what you want to do, do it. Yeah. And then, of course, um, some people stop working and never look back. Oh, yeah. So uh, next question I'm going to ask you is, how does it look now? And how did uh, retirement look a few generations before or like in the previous generation? And does it change or does it stay the same? How is it? I think in the last generation, it really hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. I think um, if you go back a hundred years, basically people didn't retire at all. They just worked and worked and worked and mm -hmm. died. You know, your family took care of you. You live with your family. You worked you didn't work as much, you died. Mm -hmm. um, today, maybe, maybe in 1950 or so, people would retire and they gardened or they did stuff at home, um, but they didn't have the disposable income that people have today. Mm -hmm. But I think today, it's um, some people really look forward to retiring, and some people don't. Um, and so uh, I don't think it's changed much in the last... 40 years on how people retire. Okay. Mm. Do you see any challenges or uh, other situations where they struggle and do you see any unique challenges that they struggle with? Um, one of the challenges that Americans have to retire is you can retire whenever you want. Mm -hmm. Whenever you think you have enough money enough finances, you can retire. And some people have the goal of retiring when they're 40 years old. Some people, you know, want to retire early. The problem is, if you retire 
before you're 65, you have to provide your own health insurance. Mm -hmm. After 65, the government will provide your health insurance. And so a lot of people have the money to retire, say at 50 or 55 or 60 even, but they have to keep working because they have to nobody to pay for their health insurance. Mm -hmm. So that's one unique challenge that, 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 that people will have. Um, if you are in the military or like a police officer, a fireman, usually you are going to retire after 20 years. So you could retire at 40 and have money, but you don't have health insurance. So you're going to have to get a second job and work something that yeah. maybe is not as exciting as being a fireman or mm -hmm. a police officer. The last question is, how do you plan for retirement? Uh, we have saved money, as I said, in a, an individual retirement account from the very beginning. And beyond spending time with my family, I really don't have any plans. Um, as I, I have no idea where we would retire to start with. Mm -hmm. and, but uh, we'll figure it out when, it com when the time comes. We'll figure it out. Thank you for being my guest, Chuck. This is the end of our time together. See you in the next episode. I look forward to it.